Welcome to Bay Hill Studio today. Today I am working on a panel quilt featuring this really gorgeous um, buffalo panel from the Nature's Window Collection by Riley Blake Designs. And I wanted to whip up a really easy border. I, uh, panel quilts can be tricky. Um, when you're adding blocks to a border for a panel quilt, you need to be pretty precise in your measurements. Um, and some, sometimes that can deter people from working with panels because they don't want to do the math. And so I do like to come up with options for borders that are easy and require very little math and that can be put together quickly. I think sometimes part of the purpose of a panel quilt is to be able to create something quick and easy and beautiful. So I had one idea in mind and at the last minute I switched to this idea and I'm really happy with it. And so I thought I'd stop what I'm doing and film a little bit of it. What I did was I um, cut one and a half inch strips of several different colors of fabric. So here's a big pile that I have. I have, um, these are all Riley Blake confetti cottons. And I'm not even sure what all the colors they are. There's some really dusty blues, some shades of orange, uh, a cream. I think this is vanilla or pina colada and um, a gray. I think this is a charcoal. And then you can see here some shades of brown. And what I did is I sewed them into one long strip and I started with the dark brown and I actually did one frame around the entire panel with just dark brown. And then I started with more dark brown and then I just um, alternated the shades of brown. You can see here it just alternates, goes around. And I cut everything on a 45 degree angle and in attaching my fabrics. And I really kept, and there's a little bit of black in there, and I really kept the lengths random. So there is no rhyme or reason to the lengths of um, the strips. I cut some of them really small. Here you can see some smaller ones. And some of them I use the full width of fabric. And what I'm doing is typically um, when I put borders on the panel quilt, I'll put a border on the side and then a border on the other side and sew those and press them open and then I'll add the top and bottom borders. In this case, that's not true except for I did that with this little one and a half inch brown frame border. But once I started using this long strip and this is literally one long strip and I did, I did have an order of colors as far as going from browns to the orange colors and then into the blue and gray. So I did kind of keep it that way, but um, alternated as I went um, a little slightly randomly. And um, instead of going to for adding them to the sides first and then the top and bottom, I started on one side and I'm just going around and around and around. And that way it's keeping the colors more continuous as I go. So you can see that brown stays with the brown, the orange with the orange. And so now I'm just going to um, film a little bit of this process of adding the strip border. And I think it's really fun to see how it's coming out. Um, there's even, let me see if I can find it. There's even one part where the colors matched up perfectly. Hmm. I can't find it, but I'll find it later. Um, it's just fun to see, to see all these colors where it looks like it's almost planned. It's not, and it's just fun to see it, it all coming together. So I'm going to be quiet now and just start sewing and you can just kind of see the process.
Okay, so I just made one round around the entire perimeter and I am going to go press these open and get started on another layer. Um, and I will add, I don't know how big this border is going to be. I'm just going to kind of go keep sewing until I feel like I'm done. So I made a huge long strip, continuous strip of these one and a half inch strips. And honestly, I didn't plan for the exact width. This is very random and free flowing. So when I feel like it's done, it'll be done. Uh, I'm going to go press um, these open and then just keep on going. Before I start um, continuing on the border, I did want to say one word about my color choices. Um, I tried to pull in colors for the border that coordinated with the colors in the buffalo print, but they're not necessarily exact, and I want to show you that. I liked how these colors from the orange family went with it. This kind of um, peach color kind of goes with these soft peachy tones. And then this orange color, you're not going to really find it exactly in there, but I feel like it goes. Um, and same with this darker orange. There's definitely not a darker orange in there, but it, it just goes with the color family. I could have pulled in green and I tried several times. I just didn't like the look of it um, with all these other colors. And again, even the blues that I'm bringing in and the gray, there is some gray tone and it's a, almost a bluish tone, but nothing exact. I just liked how they played together. And so when you have a panel and you're doing this technique, go with your gut. Um, you don't have to match your colors exactly. They should coordinate and they should feel good together. The ones that you're putting on, on your border should play well together amongst themselves. And they should all feel good with the center central picture on the panel. So um, don't feel like you have to match exactly. Um, really just play with it, go with your gut, and and choose what you can live with. All right, I'm going to start sewing again, and we will just build, continue to build on this border.
We have finished um, with just about all of the border strips and you can keep going if you want to keep going and make the quilt larger. This makes a nice size throw quilt, probably a little less than 60 inches or right around 60 inches um, wide. I actually didn't measure, but just look at all the, how the um, colors just meet up with each other. I love the browns going into the oranges and then transitioning into the blue gray and then the deep charcoal. Now you can see on this first border is that dark brown and then on the final border I've got that charcoal but I think I'm going to add one more border of charcoal to just frame it out the same way I had framed out that first dark brown border. So I think I'll do that. Um, and just give it a nice framed finish. And then I will probably add a charcoal binding as well to let it blend. You could contrast the binding with one of the oranges or browns or just about anything, but I think I'll let it blend with, with the charcoal. I'm really happy with um, how it all turned out and how it works well with the panel artwork. Um, I like the modern lines and how they complement the artwork and frame it. And um, I really like all the 45 degree angles in the border and how it lends a subtle Southwest feel to um, this panel quilt. And that bison definitely um, has a Southwest um, look to it. So they complement each other that way too. So now you can see that I'm calling this the around the corner quilt because you just sew around and around that center panel easy and beginner friendly. That's really all there is to it. If you like this content, please like and subscribe and have a great day.